What's going on guys, my name is Luke and I'm back again with our challenge guide for Black Ops 2 and today we're going to do mission 3 which is Old Wounds so there are 10 challenges again as there usually is and uh, we'll get them read out so there's eliminate 15 enemy personnel with pole war sword destroy enemy helo with mortar destroy tank with anti-tank mine run, run down 10 enemy personnel on horseback Destroy enemy helo with truck mounted MG. Destroy four enemy helos at North Pass. Utilize Stinger without aircraft lock on to destroy enemy helo. Eliminate 25 enemy personnel using alternate fire mode on Stinger. Collect three intel and 100% survivability rating. So let's get it going. Okay. So first we need to get 15 enemy kills with the Polar Sword. So at the start of the mission, when you're told to mount the horse, ignore that and go straight into a cave that's dead ahead. And uh, there's a sword lodged into a dead corpse, and you just use the access kit to pull out of them. And there's your upgraded melee weapon. And now you got it, all you do is kill 15 people, 15 enemies with it, and that is your first challenge done. Okay, now we're gonna need some mortars to get the next mission done. Challenge done, should I say. Uh, the mortars are located after you've finished talking to Raman, I think his name is. And just use the axe to get to open it up again. So what I'd recommend is uh, get this over and done with first. The first chopper you see, there's a chopper that lands right in front of you as you can see, and use a mortar to take it down. You won't get a better chance than that in the mission, so try it with that. Okay, next we're going to need some anti-tank mines. So to get them, you go up to where the stinger is located, and use the axe kit on the crate that's on its right. And you get six of them, but you only need one of them to get it done if you put it in the right spot. So uh, you use them to destroy the tanks that are coming up by North Pass to come towards the front gate. And you just place them in front of them as they drive along and don't get too close. Just don't get too close or you'll die. Alright, next we gotta run down 10 enemy personnel with horseback. So it's the horse's turn to get a few kills, so just hop on the horse and run around and just... Yeah, just go straight into them. And then that's your... Four challenge done. Okay, next, destroy enemy hero with choke man MG. One of my friends was saying that he had trouble looking for this, but I think he may it may not have been around at the time. But uh, once you destroy the archway, the first objective that you do, you come back to the gate area and there's a mounted MG opposite the gate. And all you do is destroy one of the helicopters when it's at the front entrance. Okay, now we gotta destroy ten enemy heat to air sorry, four enemy helos at North Pass. North Pass is located uh, at the very top of the map. It's just uh, past a hill. And you'll see four helos all next to each other. And uh, there's only this is the only time you can get it done, they'll all go away and you won't get another chance to do it, so start up and take out the four enemy helos. And then that's Challenge number six done. You can also get another the next challenge done on this as well. On this exact same part as you'll see now in a second, which is utilize the stinger without aircraft lock on to destroy enemy helo. All you gotta do is shoot your stinger with the iron sight by pressing the left button on the D-pad. And just destroy one helicopter and you're done. Right next. And eliminate 25 enemy personnel using alter fire mode on the stinger. So what I do is use the iron sight on the stinger and get 25 enemy kills with it and that's the mission done. Okay, now time for intel. When you finish talking to Raman and Hudson, just go straight, take a right turn and look to the crates and you'll see the intel right there. Intel number two is located by one of the ammo stashes that has a red flag marked to it. It's right beside the red flag. The 
final intel is located opposite the ammo cache that you have to take back and it's in a cave just sitting on a rock. And finally, 100% survivability rating, just basically get the mission done without dying. And the only advice I can really give is play this mission on recruit. That's all you can really do. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and this helped you get a bit closer to giant accomplishment. I will definitely try and get more of these parts up in the future and yeah if you like to give it a like and if it helped give it a like and yeah subscribe if you want to see more see you guys